Hi, my name is Jeff Stambaugh, and I'm the instructor for your online management 6883 seminar and business policy, or as I like to call it, strategy. So the purpose of this video is simply to uh, introduce myself to you and get to know you, or let you know me a little bit better, and then we'll have to rely on some uh, uh, emails from you back to me to help me understand you a little bit better. <clears throat> As far as my background goes, uh, I graduated about a million years ago from the U.S. Air Force Academy. Actually, it was specifically in 1981, with an undergraduate degree in aeronautical engineering. I embarked on a 24-year career as an Air Force officer uh, and fighter pilot. Um, what I found was that I loved aviation. I knew that already. Uh, flying was my passion then, and it still is. I uh, am a part owner of a little uh, 1965 Piper Cherokee and I love to fly whenever I can uh, doing what I can. But in addition to enjoying the flying part, what my time at the Air Force Academy and my Air Force career taught me was that I enjoyed the idea of leading and managing organizations starting from very small and at the end of my career um, I was the number two guy uh, at an Air Force base where we had 4,000 people that worked at the base on a daily basis. So. Uh, you can see started small and worked up pretty big. Along the way, I picked up a totally forgettable uh, night school master's program. Not nearly the quality that you're getting here in the Diller College of Business, but I do understand what it's like to carry a, a very full-time job and go to school, so you have my sympathies and my understanding. Uh, my other big piece of education was instead of going to war college, I was... Uh, at Harvard for a year as a fellow and that is just the coolest thing imaginable because you spend a year at Harvard with access to almost everything uh, but no expectations. The one caveat to that was the Harvard Business School is really uh, tight with their resources so I wasn't able to uh, attend many classes down there but uh, I wish I wish I could say that I spent a lot of time at the Harvard Business School uh, but I, I didn't. <clears throat> When I retired from the Air Force, I had to face the decision of what am I going to do with the rest of my life. Uh, I loved what I'd done in the Air Force, and I frankly would have liked to have transitioned to maybe a, a, a major aerospace corporation and try to get on their executive track, or have started my own aviation company. But part of the reason I was retiring from the Air Force is my kids were still small, I'll tell you more about that later, um, and I was trying to slow my life down, and so I decided that the next best thing was to be a university professor and I'll tell you a little bit more uh, about that at the end of the video and so I went to Texas Tech University earned a PhD in uh, business strategy and entrepreneurship and then joined the Midwestern State faculty in the fall of 2008 been here ever since uh, I do have a wonderful wife so if I make any jokes about my wife you have to understand that that's with total love and respect because you all should all be lucky to be married to a spouse like I am. Two kids, son Ben, uh, daughter Anna, and um, my hobbies, um, active in my church congregation, and I still like to fly. And so that's, a, like I said, a constant theme in my narrative. Let me tell you a little bit about how I feel about this course. As I was looking into this uh, university gig, getting ready to retire from the Air Force, I went around to interview with a lot of different PhD programs, and I picked up a strategy textbook because I said, you know, I really enjoy strategy. I think I'd want to focus in business strategy. And as I was literally flying on the airplane from the United States back to Japan, which is where I was stationed at the time, I was flipping through a strategy textbook, the very material that we study in this course. And I said, yes, this is what I want to do this is the stuff that interests me. This is the stuff I've dabbled in through my Air Force career. And this is the stuff that I feel like if I do a good job of teaching this, my students will have a competitive advantage for life. If I had understood the lessons that we're going to talk about in this course when I was in my 20s, I would have done a better job in my 30s, 40s, 50s, and so on. It would have made a profound difference. So as when I come to this material, I don't just come as, okay, this is the course I have to teach. I come as a person that is passionate about this material and firmly believing that it can make a tremendous difference in your professional lives. So that's a little bit about me. 
I hope you'll turn into the next video where I will tell you a little bit about the course. Join me then.